All new at 10, school officials in Albertville are trying to bend the ears and shake the pockets of state education leaders. They have a big ask. They say Albertville needs teachers, classroom aides, and even a second look at a state law. WAFF 48 Savannah Sapp has more on the superintendent's fight for support. Well, Margo, out of the 5,800 students here at Albertville City Schools, nearly 2,000 of those students are learning English as a second language and jumping over hurdles just to achieve academic success. It's with this letter that Superintendent Bart Reeves is looking to garner more support for those students. Most of our kids uh, uh, come speaking Spanish. However, we have some that uh, speak Haitian Creole. The superintendent of Albertville City Schools is calling on state legislators for support as the student population grows larger and more diverse. In this letter sent to state leaders, Superintendent Bart Reeves says teachers are navigating the struggles of language barriers daily. The hope is for more funding to help place more bilingual aids in classrooms. That can be a difference, difference maker in our schools. So if I'm a teacher in a classroom and half of my class, they do not speak English, you know, shouldn't, shouldn't we have someone in that classroom to help? Reeves also says nearly 80 English learner or EL students in third grade are at risk of being held back as a result of current legislation. The Alabama Literacy Act requires EL students to undergo the same state assessment as their counterparts in third grade. Reeves believes students need more time to jump over those language barriers to avoid the risk of falling behind. Give us some flexibility on retaining EL students in third grade mm -hmm. because again, Language ac acquisition takes five to seven years, not two to four. Finally, Reeves is requesting more teachers to accommodate the rapid growth in student population. He says kindergarten class sizes have grown from 16 to 18 per classroom to 21 to 24. We do not have space there, you know, uh, in terms of the uh, of the area, we do not have space to, uh, to build there, uh, to add on classrooms, so that's a concern. Well, Dr. Reeves and the rest of the school district are encouraging families and members of the communities to reach out to state legislators to let their voices be heard. They're also inviting those legislators to come and visit the schools here at Albertville to understand the daily struggles of students and teachers. Reporting in Albertville, Savannah Sapp, 48 News on your side.